I've just come on because I'm up at the Innovation Hub and I've had some sneak peeks of a collection that we're going to have out um, in due course. It's not quite ready yet, but I got a chance to see some of the images which I thought I'd share with you today. It's called Clockwork Lace and it was described to me as pretty steampunk. So it's steampunk, but instead of being blacks and dark browns we've got some beautiful teals in there lovely gold you wait to see what we've got so we've got this one is our split frame so this means that you can put your frame split or you can overlap the pieces so that you can create your frames then what they've done is they've added chains but they've not attached the chain so that means if you want to put your frames at quirky angles you can still have all the chains in the right places and we've got corners as well so I think they've really thought this out how can you make this really useful so you've got a straight corner there but if you add on that over the top it really joins up beautifully but like I say you can then pull it apart put it at angles you've got your cogs but can you see it's all these beautiful colors now the other one that I really like let me turn it that way up to show you is this one and this is these are like our matting and layering dies but they are cogs instead of regular just plain circles so I think you're going to find these really useful use half of them use them as apertures use them as frames use them as mats and layers and then look at all of these cogs that you're getting as well that you can then um, decoupage on, add as um, tuck-ins, however you want to use them. I think it's really lovely. And you've also got lovely little filigree elements. Those are the two framey ones. There, I have to show you this. So then we've got our peacock feather. Isn't this gorgeous? So you've got these peacock feathers, but with a steampunk element. And look at the colours. They are stunning. So if, you, if, if steampunk's always been a bit dark for you, I think this will really, you'll really like this because it really lifts. And then look at this, I'm turning that one up too. You've got your flowers. I think they are beautiful. So they are our cogs turned into flowers. I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to scrunch them. I'm going to add my gilding waxes. Make sure you've got gilding waxes ready. I'm going to, oh, put my spritz and sprays on them. Some of those circles, I'm going to ink through them. I'm going to put um, texture paste through them. So many ideas, I'm running away. Now, two more sort of structural ones we've got is this floating castle. Isn't this beautiful? So it's sort of floating on the on the cogs here. And you've got the, you see, it's lifted it. We've added the vines through the um, turrets, which really lifts it. So it's not quite as dark as some steampunk. But look at the airship. Isn't that amazing, our steampunk airship? So can you see, these, this is gonna work perfectly for your male cards, but you're thinking, what about my female cards? They've covered that one too. We have the delightful Delilah. Now, isn't she amazing? I think she is beautiful. And Delilah's friend, Dolores. This is really going to trip me up on my shows. I just know I'm going to get tongue-tied over these. Dolores Lightly, or I think it was in Delilah Lightly, or something like that. But anyway, Dolores and, Deli and De Delilah. So, yeah, you've got your top hats, you've got your wings, you've got your cogs. Aren't they stunning? I think these are going to be so popular. So you, you've got something for the men, and the men, and you've got something for the ladies. Now, there's four more I want to just show you. And these are the unity dies so these are ones where they're going to cut into your cards so if you want to create shapes within your cards these are going to work perfectly we've got the mushroom look at that that whole mushroom is made up of cogs um, and turnings it's beautiful so you've got two dies on the outer one you've got one that's going to act as your mat and then one that's going to act as like your if it, if it comes out like i think it is as your split unity so if you want this shaped over the edge of your card perfect so in this set you've got the mushroom look at the dove isn't that beautiful stunning just i'm thinking of the green papers i'm going to use this with i'm going to use it with gold i'm going to use the gilding waxes i'm going to use the relief paste all those sorts of different techniques through this then on top of that the owl now sneak peek the owl is in issue 74 of the tattered lace magazine how do i know because I made it. So we've got a project using him as well. He is beautiful. And again, he's got two dies that go with him. And the final one in this, and I think you're going to love this, is the steampunk dragonfly, I think it is. 
or is it a butterfly maybe it's a butterfly i think it's probably a butterfly absolutely gorgeous and again you're going to have those outer dies you're going to have that split unity and this is going to cut perfectly into your cardstock as well absolutely stunning i think you're going to love these i'm really excited about these and i can't wait to see the finished samples that the design team put together